start. The purpose of the Additive Manufacturing Vehicle Grand Challenge was to engage students in the practice of designing for additive manufacturing or 3D printing. And we gave them a real world problem, which was to try to design a vehicle that could be created completely by 3D printing. The challenge was set in this context of uh, disaster relief or in a military context, so both civilian and military applications of on-site additive manufacturing. So our obstacle course tried to mimic some of the challenges you might see in that real world context. So for example, we provided a, an obstacle where the vehicles had to go through a tunnel to mimic a small space that you might have to go through a broken building to identify a survivor in a case of a natural disaster. Uh, we also had a rubble field of different grades, again, to challenge the vehicles to go over not just smooth you know, terrain, to get them into a field that you would see in a real world environment. And of course, we gave them an incline, a set of ramps they had to go over to show, you know, was their vehicle centered? Was it balanced? Was it going to tip over? One of our most unique designs was what we called the ant vehicle, the, the walker vehicle. It was something that we had never seen before, uh, and it's again a geometry and complex kinematic mechanism that really can only easily be done through additive manufacturing. It really showed the potential of that technology. All of our vehicles were tasked with a reconnaissance mission, so each of them is carrying a Wi-Fi enabled camera to send video feed, live video feed back to our judges. The judging of the competition, though, was really not so much on the performance, it was more about the design and manufacture of the vehicle, because that was really the purpose of the competition. So in the aerial competition, 70% of the final score was all about design and manufacture, only 30% is about overall performance. Well, our design uses a 3D printed truss system that's pretty complex. It really pushed the printer we had here to the limits, both physically in the bounds and just with what detail it could print. Our winning team, Team Lobstrosity, had a really brilliant idea, which was to maximize print speed, to make it the most efficient print, and actually print the, their vehicle flat. And they actually fold, almost like origami, they can fold their vehicle in, with pre-printed hinges, so it actually has a, a truss structure. So it's a completely new idea in, in additive manufacturing of printing things flat, minimizing print time, and then folding the structure to give it the rigidity and the performance you need. And what this Grand Challenge was really motivated by was to educate students about what is possible. There's also a great amount of value in the workforce development, preparing the future generation of engineers for a world in which additive manufacturing is at the forefront. 